science research endeavor itself for many years was done predominantly by individuals um, I'm showing here on the left-hand side of the slide. There were mainly men, there were mainly men of particular ethnic uh, and geographic um, origin. That is increasingly not the case today. Uh, women increasingly engage in research. All of you in this room, I'm sure, encourage young women to go into research, um, innovation and technology. Uh, and of course, we all want to continue that, that uh, encouragement throughout their, their working life and their career. Now, why is it important? It's important because as we have a more diverse set of um, uh, stakeholders in the research ecosystem, asking questions, conducting research, it's more likely that the questions they will ask will be different, there will be a greater diversity of questions, but importantly, the way they will ask some of the same common questions will also be different. That's why it matters. I mentioned um, in this introduction to this section that of course while we have an increasing number of women engaging in research um, activity, it remains a fact that women are insufficiently credited as authors for the work they do. There is plenty of evidence, published evidence to support it. I'm just sharing with you one example, um, an article which we published in Nature uh, just over a year ago, uh, last summer. And this, the title really um, uh, states very clearly, women are less credited in science than men. And in this study, what was really interesting was um, the data showed very persuasively that the problem existed at, across all disciplines, across all fields, and across all career stages. Women were less um, credited uh, mainly as authors. As this, this was the way the, the study was uh, conducted. One consideration for why women are uh, given less credit for the work they do can have something to do with this. So what I'm showing here, this is a, a London School of Economics blog of a couple of years ago, where the authors describe uh, work that they did to ask indeed that question, why is it that women's work is less recognized? Um, they found that often readers engaged more deeply with the work uh, done by women and read it uh, more frequently, but they still cited that work less often. The conclusion of these authors is that women often choose to focus their research more on um, societally relevant work, so uh, something which I would call uh, work with more immediate real life impact as opposed to academic impact, and for that reason it receives less citation. Now the reason why I'm sharing this with you is really to, to call you to consider what kind of research we value the most. If we want um, research to contribute to solving um, uh, the world's greatest problems, we need to value in equal measures fundamental research, blue sky research, which we know um, is of value in its own right, but also ultimately can lead to um, improvements um, in technology and innovation. But we should also, in equal measures, value research, which it has its goal as immediate real life impact. And if it's true that women um, disproportionately engage in that kind of impact, by recognizing it, we will give greater recognition to the work that women do.